Hello everybody, it's Zach here from realestatelicensewizard.com. Today we're going over another real estate math practice question. If you're new here in this series, we cover real estate math questions that are likely to show up on the real estate exam. If you have any math questions you want me to cover, you can drop them down below and they may be featured in a future video. If you want to try real estate math questions out yourself, as well as regular real estate exam questions, check out our website, realestatelicensewizard.com. Now this series is amazing for anyone preparing for the real estate exam, so make sure to click that like button and subscribe, that way you're fully prepared come exam day. Anyways, guys, let's jump right into it. So today we're going to be doing price per square foot again. But if you guys were paying attention from the last two videos, this one is a little bit different and I'll leave it at that. So let's take a look at the problem. All right. So the problem says a lot in a subdivision costs three hundred thousand dollars. It is one hundred feet wide and one hundred feet deep. How much is the price per square foot? And it gives us four options, $3, $8, $10, and $20. So as usual, I'm gonna give you guys an opportunity to pause here, come up with your answer, bust it out, do the math, all that good stuff. So feel free to do that right now. All right, so hopefully you guys came with your answer on this one. What is the correct answer? Well, it's going to be 20. It's $20 per square foot. So how on earth did we get that? Okay, so first things first, we're actually gonna do the same step that we did in the previous problems. We need to find the total square footage. So in order to do that, we need to take these two numbers here, this 100 feet wide and this 100 feet deep, and we are going to multiply them. So let's do that real fast. So again, we're doing this 100 times 150, and that is going to give us 15,000 square feet. So from there, you might be thinking, okay, well, what do I do next? This is very similar to before, but different because remember, they're giving us this cost here and they're not asking for the total cost, but they're asking for the price per square foot. So what are we going to do differently? Well, we're going to do a divide in this instance. <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to divide in this instance. So what are we dividing? Well, we're going to take this $300,000. Oops. We're going to take that $300,000 and we're going to divide that by this, this 15,000 square feet. And remember, this is our total square footage. And it makes sense because if we were doing things in reverse, that's what we would have to do. We'd have to divide because we multiplied from before. So we do that. And what is that going to give us? Well, that's going to give us 20 or $20 per square foot. Wow. You see that? So actually, we now know both ways to do it. Because um, remember, in math, uh, there are a lot of multiple ways to do certain problems because multiplication, addition, sometimes you could reverse the order and the steps, and sometimes they'll be the same. Not all the time, uh, depending on the problem, obviously. But in this instance, these types of problems, these price per square foot problems, it's really nice to know that if they do change the numbers, if they do take one out, or they take two out and maybe put you know another two in, we can solve the problem. Um, and it's a very basic problem. And I know I've said that all week because it, it really is, but it's more or less just reading, determining what it's asking for, remembering your steps and completing the steps. And if you can do that, you guys will get the problem every time. It's as simple as that. Uh, but yeah, so that's going to be it for me today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up. Any comments, questions, all the good stuff down below. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. We do great stuff all covering real estate exam prep pretty much all the time. So um, <laughs> we do videos like once a week, uh, sometimes five times a week, depending on the week, all that good stuff. So, all right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching. As always, it's Zach from realestatelicensewizard.com. Make today magical.